Hey, what's cooking? Hey, this is Greg coming to you again from Glendale, California, here in the southern part of the state. And uh, hope you're well. Uh, I have a video on my channel about the virtue of tongue exercises and this is something I keep doing. Um, when I say exercises what I really mean is just moving your tongue when you're just sitting doing nothing else or when I'm just sitting doing nothing else I uh, like to just move my tongue. I just I move it all around in my mouth or let it come in out of my mouth maybe licking around above my lips so like I'll try to do some right now of course you can't see in my mouth or feel in my mouth but uh, I'll uh, So I might do these when I'm just sitting or lying in bed or when I'm riding on the bus or sitting in pub like on a bench waiting for something, you know, sitting in a waiting room. And I think they're great. Uh, it feels really good to move your tongue. It's a very sensual part of the body. And on my prior video I was saying that, you know, when you move your tongue, it takes every muscle in your body to move any muscle of your body. So moving your tongue, well, a lot of times I like to move my tongue for exercise, but kind of get my whole body into it. Like uh, I'm moving it, like I'm moving it, but I'm also kind of working my belly, and I can work my arms a little. But one rather cool thing I've noticed lately is that uh, by exercising your tongue, um, you become more aware, well actually my speaking voice has become better, I think, and you also become more aware of other people's voices, which is pretty cool. Like uh, I went to see a movie yesterday called Million Dollar Arm, which um, is about... Uh, it's about a sports agent who needs some baseball players to represent so he goes to India and gets cricket players to uh, come to the US and learn baseball but it was interesting to really notice the people's voices more like like noticing the Indian voices when he goes to India the sort of sing-songy way that Indian people speak and then he hires an old agent played by, uh, or an old scout, baseball scout played by Alan Arkin, whose voice is very Jewish, or what I think of as Jewish. And it was kind of interesting talking afterwards with my friend who I went with, you know, what does make a voice sound Jewish? And we kind of agreed that it was kind of nasal. And she thinks Jewish people speak a little louder than most people, which I'm not convinced by, but it's possible. Um, and then I guess you can notice the leading man's voice, but his voice is more just just sort of av mainstream or average, not too distinctive. But in a way, I suppose that could that could contribute to the story because we can put ourselves in his place. He has an average voice so we could imagine ourselves in his place trying to come up with an idea to help his business succeed. Um, but also, gosh, I think when I do tongue exercises it also gives me in general more self-confidence in my interactions with people and I think I'm a little more quick-minded. I really don't know why unless maybe it's just stimulating to be working those muscles up well up near your brain. I, I don't get that one. I'll, uh, if you have any thoughts on, them, on it leave them in the comments. But anyway I'm highly advocating to you 
and then it's good for it's just good if you have some nervous energy or energy um, so I'm highly advocating tongue exercises to you.